Don't forget to check out my Patreon, linked in the description below. I react to many, many other videos that get blocked on YouTube, such as Idol Rooms, Knowing Bros, lots of Red Velvet Level Up project episodes, concert videos, such as Twice Land, Twice Lights, and Red Mare. We also have some dramas, like He is Psychometric. We also have Finding Stray Kiss and One Fine Day in Japan of Seventeen. Also got seven hard carry episodes. So don't forget to check out my Patreon. Thank you, and continue on with the video. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we have Film Kai. I usually don't watch, like, teasers and things like that. One, I feel like they're too short, and it's usually not worth, like, setting everything up for this. But as I'm already recording some things, I'm like, okay, we'll do it. Um, two, I, when it comes to these type of things, like films are like little like five minute videos where it's probably like going to display the album or give a teaser for everything. I don't, it, it usually requires like analyzing things and stuff like that. And I'm not good at that and I don't want to look stupid. Um, but this is Kai and I feel like we've all kind of just been waiting for this and I'm gonna do it because it's Kai. Like he he's the exception to this. I've only done this for like an hype and that's because their debut group, like they're debuting. So that was like the exception for them. But like Kai is like Kai, so I'm gonna do it for him. We've all I Kai's been waiting for this. Like we know he has. So like everyone's just it's like a celebration basically. I know he released a teaser, so I might react to that too. He was at the end of Aspas, Aspas, Aspa, Aspa, Aspas, music video. <laughs> That's beautiful. I pre ordered both the flip one and the regular one. Kind of looks like Titanic stuff. Like, he kind of looks like Johnny. Johnny? Ugh, Leonardo. Why does not say Johnny Depp? Leonardo DiCaprio. Hello, stranger. Is that the title track? Oh. Is this a, a is this a song? What it, I don't want to hear it. Oh, that's why I don't do these things. I hope it's not a song, but it's probably a song. Great. That's such a cool concept. I've never seen this. It kind of, well, I was going to say it reminds me of his dance during, I don't know which tour it was, but he, he danced like on water and stuff. It, his, the moves he's doing, it just displays like so much emotion and stuff. And it kind of reminds me of his solo dance on, well, maybe it was Exoplanet? No, it had to be after that. I don't know, but whatever, I watched a lot of their tours, so I don't really know which one. They kind of blend together at one point. Would you guys know what I'm talking about with the water and everything? Oh, that was so, oh, that's so. Wow. It's so nice to see him dancing alone. I think Kai is so good at like. Wow. Well, I kind of got chills from that. Okay. He's so good at displaying emotions. Yeah, this is giving me like Titanic vibes for some reason. Yeah, I need Titanic vibes. Is it just me? Is that the point? Is it me? Oh no, we're getting so many spoilers. I don't want spoilers. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have reacted to this. Okay. He's literally the only exception to this. Like, I kid you not, I don't listen to anyone's spoilers. Like, even if they, when the groups like post the and they give little teasers for the albums like and you hear like 10 second clips no i don't do that bt even bts i don't do that like i don't do that for anybody oh kai i love you <laughs> you're the only reason me looking at white people i'm just kidding i'm half white <laughs> but am i kidding i don't know Oh, no, I'm gonna like it, I guess. Kill it. Mega dancers. She's killing it. Y'all see her? Hey, get it, baby. 
Be trying to focus on Kai, but getting a little distracted. <laughs> He's gonna like, oh my god, this is so cool. He's gonna destroy K pop. Like, no one's gonna, oh, kill it, Kai, man. That's why SM has held off. They're like, we can't. We have to let everyone else release some stuff first. We've gotta let Espa de you, because Kai's gonna just, like, expectations high. Like, this is, this is a little story. I mean, it says film, but still. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god, he looks so good. Look at his ugly little mullet. Only he can pull that off. That type of mullet. A lot of people can pull off a mullet, but that one's kind of trash. Oh, sounds cool. Okay, so I kind of like, I don't, I'm not like analyzing it, but I just thought it was kind of cool. Like, I think in the beginning, it's kind of him being vulnerable. It's like vulnerable Kai. And then, um, what was it? Reason? I think that's like elegant Kai, like fancy, trying to like fit in with the high class people. And now this is like sexy, kind of like bad boy Kai, you know, like love shot Kai. No, I feel like actually I think Reason was more like love shot Kai. This is like monster Kai. I just kind of love shot too. Whatever. I just noticed it's like three different versions of him because Kai is such a complex person. He has so many different sides. He can be a little childish too. So I can't wait. I hope we get like a more poppy kind of song, like maybe like uh, call me baby or something like a little more like a cocoa pop you know something a little fun but we this might be a sexy album like sexy and vulnerable kai <laughs> kill it oh oh i'm so mad i don't want to hear it but okay this is sounding good i guess if i can't record the album that day at least i kind of heard these parts This one's gonna be my favorite, I feel. Oh my god, I'm sorry, it's so good. Oh, this is a bop. This is it. And music. Oh my god, this shot with the backlight, like, look at me being fancy, knowing terms. I love it. Oh, now it's back to the front light, I don't know. <laughs> backlight again. Yeah. I learned what backlight means. I, I, I knew it was for the back, but like, I didn't know what it was meant for. Like, it makes you look like a shadow and silhouette. So now I, I keep saying it all the time because I learned it. I love these transitions. I hope um, Form of Therapy reacts to this, man. This is so good. Oh, this is the title track. I forgot because I was like, didn't Treasure just have a song called Mmm? Um, not accusing anyone of copying. It's just, it made me laugh because I was like, Two songs called mm, and they're probably both new bops because mm, by Treasure is amazing to me. Oh. oh my god, I'm gonna cry when I listen to his album because I'm just so proud of him. Like, he really deserves this. Oh, that was really short. Oh, yeah, and then the joke of Chenyeol. Because <laughs> nothing was so good. I like this um, setting. It's rare they have stuff outside. Vulnerable Kai again. Oh, sh- Y'all saw that. Y'all saw that back arch. Interesting. Interesting. In 
interesting. Okay, that's so interesting. I'm very kind of confused here, but I'm like, <laughs> I think I could be stupid, but I'm like 99% sure that's a female. She's dressed like kind of down and has a black thing on. She can like, it could be like she can resemble him, but like, and it's like his, I don't know. I could be overthinking this, but he's dressed in more like of a feminine attire and has like a corset and everything and i just feel like it's it yeah i don't want to sound stupid but like i feel like this could be representing his like because kai kind of breaks like well, kind of kai breaks a lot of like gender stereotypes with like his clothing you know he wears like crop tops and stuff he's he has a very he's such a masculine guy but like he also has like a feminine charm to him like especially with like clothing and stuff and i think it looks really nice on him and i just feel like this kind of could resemble that, but maybe not. Y'all let me know. Because it's like, what's the name of the song? What was the name of the song? Wow. It really just said. Was it nothing on me? Was it nothing on me? Yeah, okay. Okay, so she kind of controlled him. Now they're just the same. Oh, but like she keeps kind of controlling him. If I knew the lyrics, I could probably understand way better, but like. I'm so intrigued by that last one, not gonna lie. Like, I kind of want to know like the meaning of that one. But I don't think the song relates to it really. Oh. This is how you use backup answers to actually like add more to the story. Because sometimes I just think backup answers are useless. Wow. Ooh. How many songs do we get? Probably like six, seven. Okay, and now we have Chic Pie. Oh, that was so cool. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. This is so cool. It's gonna be album of the year. This man. Oh, that was so. That was. Wow. That was so good. I can't even see why. I'm gonna cry. Like, this is art. This video. sounded so that was everything the way he sang it to like the little move he did They're right here i'm gonna die right i die I'm dying This is him singing it? Dang. Like, I knew it was. I feel like I'm, like, delayed a bit, but, like... It's kind of just shocking to me, because, like, he doesn't... He gets a decent amount of lines, but, like... I'm trying to think of a song. They have so many songs, and... I'm trying to think of one where maybe he's sang that way, but I just cannot. It's not... Nothing's crossing my mind. He probably has. Maybe I just kind of forgot it was him, but... His tone there was so different. This was so beautiful. Oh my, I'm, that was, uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, I don't really want to watch the music video trailer because I've already heard the whole album. That was art. That was just, no one, like, I, mm, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm most excited for Amnesia and Ride or Die was it at the end. I, okay, so Kai isn't even my bias. He's not even my bias record, but I've been waiting for this album since like i became an exo which i at times i even feel hesitant to call myself that because i don't know like 
the criteria to be considered an XMO, but I mean, I watched um, like EXO's Ladder and I watched their interviews and I listened to all their music and I guess I could, I, I just feel like some people wouldn't agree, but since I became a fan, I'll say, uh, and like Ty's not my bias or bias record, but I feel like an EXO, no matter, I'm like been hyped for anyone's solo stuff. Um, I guess because my biases have solo stuff, like Suho came out with the album. I wasn't really expecting him to come out with one at that time anyways, so I guess like it never crossed my mind and then he just dropped it on me, so the ex- I couldn't be excited. I was just like, oh shoot, it's here, so yeah. Um, let's see, Chan, he's had albums out and Lei, he's, was he the first one I think maybe to have an album out? I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure he's the, yeah, he's the first. He's the first. And then Baekhyun's not my bias record, but like I like anyone in EXO, I feel like you can be like so excited. Cause like they're all like at the same level to me personally of talent, just with different things. Like I think like they're all the same level. It's just like some is there for dancing, some's there for rapping, some's there for singing. I feel like Chen Yul is there for like all three added up. Um, but like yes. I don't even know what I'm saying, but like point is I, even if he's not my bias or bias record, I was always most, like, anxious for him to finally, like, have an album out, because I just felt like SM's held him back a lot. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, like, I feel like I would have released this a long time ago. I guess, good thing he didn't, because it sounds so good, and I don't know if it would have been at this level if it was, like, a year ago. I don't know. Depends on when these were finished, but, like, I'm just so happy. I, like I don't think I've ever really been this excited for like a solo thing maybe Taeyong of BTS but even then he's like I don't know but like it's just high like I felt like he would do so well and we all felt that way like everyone has been begging and finally it's here and it's like I still like I'm scared like SM's gonna like delay or something even though it's like in a few days but all right, let's stop rambling. I'm so excited. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.